Good evening, folks. So have you noticed? Drones have become the noisy neighbor we never asked for. I mean, there was a time when we used to spy on each other through the fence. Now, we outsource that job to drones. It's like, Hey Jerry, what's going on in your backyard? Wait, I'll just fly my drone over. It's 2024, and the only privacy we have is our thoughts. Until the next update. You know, with delivery drones becoming a thing, it's like waiting for pizza has turned into an episode of Hunger Games. You're there, looking up at the sky, wondering if that's your dinner or just another bird. And when it finally arrives, it's like winning the lottery, except the prize is a cold pizza, because it got into a turf war with a flock of seagulls on the way over. Have you heard about these new high-speed drones that can keep up with F1 racers? I mean, at this point, we might as well have drones racing in the Olympics. I tried to race one with my car once. Big mistake. There I was, feeling all fast and furious, until I realized it was filming me, not racing me. Spoiler alert, it also caught me singing to Let It Go at the top of my lungs. I've never felt so judged by a piece of technology. Speaking of drones, isn't it funny how we can send rovers to Mars, but we can't make a drone battery that lasts longer than my motivation to work out? It's like, oh, you wanted to spy on your neighborhood barbecue? Too bad. It's only got 10 minutes of flight time. It really puts a damper on my aspiring career as a secret agent. Let's talk about drone propellers. Whoever thought it was a good idea to put flying lawnmowers in the sky? I mean, I'm all for technology, but when I'm walking my dog and a drone flies by, giving us both a haircut, I start to question our priorities. I guess it's one way to save on grooming costs, but I'm not sure it's worth the terror. And then, there are DIY drone enthusiasts. You know, the ones who think they're Tony Stark after watching a few YouTube tutorials. Suddenly, the skies are filled with drones that look more like flying toasters than sophisticated technology. Watching them try to navigate is like watching a toddler learn to walk. Endearing, but a disaster waiting to happen. I just hope they're not delivering my next pizza. Ever tried taking that perfect scenic shot, only to have a drone photobomb your masterpiece. It's like, wow, what a beautiful sunset. And is that a drone doing a face plant into my photo? Next thing you know, your romantic sunset picture looks like it's sponsored by Skynet. It's the modern day equivalent of a tourist walking into your shot. But at least you could ask the tourist to move. And what's with drones turning into peeping toms? You're there, minding your own business, changing, and suddenly there's a drone outside your window, looking confused. It's like, no Mr. Drone, this isn't the show you're looking for. Next thing you know, you're having a staring contest with a machine questioning all your life choices. Have you ever had to do the drone walk of shame? That's when you fly your drone a bit too far and it lands in someone else's yard. Then, you have to knock on their door to get it back. It's like, hi, sorry, my flying camera accidentally landed in your rose bushes. 
Yes, I was the one spying on your barbecue. No, I wasn't invited. Can I have it back, please? It's the adult version of fetching your ball from the neighbor's yard. Let's not forget the epic battle between drones and nature. Birds see drones as the ultimate rivals. There you are, flying your drone, feeling like a tech god, and out of nowhere, a hawk decides it's hunting season. It's nature's way of reminding us who's really in charge. And spoiler, it's not the guy with the remote control. And finally, the day when drones become part of the family. Remember when everyone was skeptical of them? Now, it's like, did you walk the dog? Yes. Did you feed the cat? Yes. Did you charge the drone? Oh, shoot. It's only a matter of time before they start showing up in family photos. And here's our drone, Drony McDroneface, an essential part of the family. In conclusion, folks, drones have weaved their way into the fabric of our daily lives, bringing with them comedy, chaos, and convenience. They've turned us into reluctant actors in their aerial ballet, where each flight is an adventure or misadventure. But at the end of the day, whether they're delivering our pizzas, cutting our hair, or just giving us a laugh, it's clear we're in a drone's world and we're just trying to navigate it without getting knocked in the head. So the next time you see a drone, give it a wave. Who knows, it might just wave back, or at least not drop your pizza. Thanks for flying with me tonight, 